The family of a man shot and killed by a Colleen police officer is now calling for that officer to be fired immediately. 52 year old Patrick Warren Sr. was killed on Sunday while his family says he was experiencing a mental health crisis. Colleen police identified the officer involved as Ronaldo Contreras, a five year veteran of the part department who has now been placed on administrative leave. And tonight Warren's family, his attorney is speaking out about problems that he has already seen in this investigation. Lee Merritt says he and Warren's family met with the Bell County District Attorney today, Henry Garza. According to Merritt, Garza told him weather concerns prevented his department from going to the scene on Sunday after Warren was shot. Merritt says that is unacceptable and Garza's office should have been investigating since day one. Instead, Merritt says Garza told him it is too soon to speak with the family about the case because there's evidence his office has not yet been able to review. There's, there's no reason that a mental health call like this should result in a fatality. Um, Mr. Warren was not aggressive. Mr. Warren was not armed. He was in his home. He was on his lawn. He was within his rights to reject the services of law enforcement after they arrived. Their responsibility was simply to leave uh, or send the appropriate personnel to deal with this particular crisis. They failed this family in every way and it's, it's left them shattered. Merritt says neither he nor Warren's family want to speak with Colleen Police Chief Charles Kimball, but Merritt claims they do plan to file a civil suit against the department. Right now, they're calling for Officer Contreras' immediate firing, and they want to find out why there was only one resource officer available instead of a team trained to deal with mental health calls. And community members are also wanting Contreras fired and arrested. They gathered outside the Colleen Police Department today calling for justice and accountability. Six News reporter Cole Johnson explains their concerns and the use of force policy KPD follows. This ends now. Enough is enough. Powerful cries for justice outside Colleen Police Headquarters. Days after Patrick Warren Sr. was killed outside his home by a KPD officer. We gathered here today for peace, for justice, for accountability. He needs to be arrested and not be allowed to be a police officer ever again. Ring camera footage released by the Warren family attorney Lee Merritt shows moments surrounding the shooting. The video is graphic and may be upsetting to some viewers. Hey, 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 Dad, sit down. One community member criticized the department for sending Officer Contreras to a psychiatric call. You send an officer who does not have the skills, ability, or intelligence to handle this situation. You can read KPD's use of force policy online. In it, they give examples when deadly force may be used, including when an officer needs to defend themselves or another person from an immediate threat of death or serious injury, to apprehend someone armed and dangerous, when alternative means of apprehension would involve substantial risk of death or serious injury, and when the employee's action will not involve an obvious or unacceptable danger to innocent bystanders. Contreras is currently on administrative leave pending results of the investigation. Reporting in Colleen, Cole Johnson, 6 News. And we do have more comments from those community members as well as the Colleen Police Department's use of force policy for you to check out on our website. That's KCENTV.com.